Okay, just want to discuss quickly how we use member ID inside of the CU Ledger member pass API. Um, in essence, we don't want to know um, from the CU Ledger side anything that is internal to your side. So we're looking for member ID to really to isolate um, us from any knowledge of, of your system. So what this really means is you shouldn't provide a meaningful identifier um, as the member ID. Um, pick a uh, create a correlation table or something in your system that ties the person to the member ID. Um, just a simple table. We'll show you an example in a second. But give you an idea of some things we don't want pushed in. Um, things like a uh, social security number, um, a member number, um, an account number. Uh, if you're using CUFX, party ID. These are all unique and, and special to your system. They're important to your core and your ancillary systems. To give you an idea, here's just a quick example. If you look on the right-hand side here, um, I've got a member ID. It's just a GUID, just randomly created. And on the left-hand side, I've got two different systems. On the core side, we have a member number of 345432. And there's an auto loan ancillary system where it's uh, the, the user ID is something like auto 23445. We would correlate those both to this GUID, to this UUID value, the zero echo 19. Um, the whole value there is that it allows you to use various different systems. All you need to do is internally understand what is the member ID you're using. And you call us. We don't know that it's John or Jane or Sally. Um, we just know that you're looking for that particular connection that you are in total control of. And we don't have any information in our system that uh, is valuable internally to your system uh, as far as knowing how you have things laid out, what your core is like, how you use member number. Uh, that's information you just don't want to leave the external uh, perimeter of your own organization. Hopefully that helps give you an idea of how we use member ID, get you going on the, on the path to creating that uh, identifier. If you have any questions, please reach out.